Welcome, or welcome back. Today I'll be repairing this yellow Pikachu and Pichu Game Boy Color. It's in need of a screen replacement and rust repair on the battery contacts due to old batteries leaking on them. I'll start by removing the six tri-wing screws located on the back of the Game Boy. Really, I gotta start with removing the game. Now I can remove the tri-wing screws. With the back cover removed, it's time to take out the three crosshead screws that hold the motherboard in. Now it's time to undo the ribbon cable bail at the top for the screen. Pull the board off gently and pick up the front face plate and twist it as shown so you can release the glue from the screen. and take out the screen. These spots at the right and the top can't be repaired, so you just need a new screen. On to removing the negative battery terminal on the board. I do this by flipping the board over, applying my soldering iron, and using my solder sucker to take out all this solder from the pad. Now I can rock it back and forth until it's free. Okay, now it's time to take out the other side of the battery terminals. Taking a flathead and placing it here and pressing in will release the battery terminal. The battery acid has eaten away the spring on the right side of this connector. To get rid of the rust, I drown both battery connectors in white vinegar. After an hour of soaking in a wire brush, they come out like this. This one came out really good. I brushed this one really hard and it looked like there was copper on the left side here. I could be mistaken or that's just like pitted rust, but I had to add this spring as you can see here where I soldered it. And again, that's because the previous spring was eaten by battery acid that leaked onto it. I had this screen on my parts bin. It looks great and it's OEM. For install, I'm gonna place the screen face down with the ribbon cable up. I put the clean battery connector back in its spot and make sure it's seated correctly. Then I flip the board over and I re-solder it back into place. And I like to give it a wiggle to make sure it's not going anywhere. Now I install the other battery terminal in the back plate. It takes a little convincing, but just to make sure it, to make it seated properly. Time to put the motherboard back in its spot with those satisfying clicks. From here, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna do everything in reverse. The only thing left now is to clean the screen, put some batteries in, and test it. Awesome, it works great. I'm happy I can bring this back to life. If you made it this far, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging, and I'll see you in the next video.